I do get some barrel, some char on this one. Wow, this is, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be very difficult. I think I might be uh, questioning my choice of initial video right now. Welcome to Whiskey is a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. Today, I'm introducing a new series to my channel called First Friday Flight Fights. I'm going to be pouring a flight of whiskeys, tasting them blind, talk a little bit about them as I go through and taste them and rank them in the order of which I like them the most. Today's flight, we're gonna be looking at the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs from 2022. I'm gonna be blinding the 2022 series, but I'm gonna be using the A121 as just a starter, just to get my palate ready for the barrel proofs. So let me go ahead and get these poured, get them in the glasses, and then we'll go ahead and get this thing going. My A121 is, <laughs> I'm gonna be very creative about this. This is gonna go into glass A21. And then each of the other glasses are going to be A, B, and C. So I've got my A121, I've got my A122, a122 is going to go in glass glass A in glass B I've got my B522 and if you guys are familiar with Elijah Craig's they come out 3 times a year A B and C batch A batch comes out somewhere around January B batch comes out somewhere around April and then the C batch comes in somewhere around, what is it, September? C922. And this is in glass C. Pretty even pours there. So you get C922. These are all aged 12 years and they're commonly thought of as the best bargain in bourbon. I think I actually lucked out here in my purchasing of one of these. They're usually all, oh, this is one. So the A122, I got rung up at $34. All of the others were rung up at around $83. So I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, if you guys don't know. And this is a good time to tell you guys, if you guys are interested in this kind of content and you're not subscribed to the channel, now would be a good time to go ahead and subscribe as I'm mixing these things up. I've already <laughs> lost track completely about where everything is. I think they're pretty much an even pour. Again, ABC. I've got my A122, A121 here as a starter. So let me go ahead and Get the palette going. I've also got my water to refresh as I go. We've got a pad of paper over there. I'm gonna go ahead and take some notes on these things. Oh my gosh, barrel proof. <laughs> these, are, these are strong. So the A121 is coming in at 123.6 proof. The A122 is 120.8. B522 is coming in at 121. And if memory serves me, the C batch is the highest proof. C922 is 124.8. So let's go ahead and get this one going. Classic cherry, vanilla, brown sugar, lots of proof. So we can get this on the palate and we'll get this thing going. Elijah Craig as a flavor is just an explosion in the mouth. Being new to bourbons or being new to whiskeys in general, I only started drinking back in January, actually January 14th, 2022 to be specific. And as I'm going, I'm starting to realize that the alcohol burn eventually kind of drops away no matter how high the proof is. And you really start to key in on the flavors. And bourbons, for me, the Elijah Craig's just have that classic cherry, vanilla, and brown sugars. I'm starting to really enjoy Elijah Craig. Let's go ahead and set that one off to the side. Got it in my mouth a little bit, got it on my palate. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the nose on all of these and then move into the palate. Immediately, this is a little bit more subdued than the A121, but I do have cherry. The cherry is not as strong. A Little bit of brown sugar, middle glass, 
a lot more cherry. And then my last glass. Much less. So in ranking as far as the, ooh, that one was dusty too. So in the ranking, just in the nose alone, we have a little bit less cherry. Well, that Actually, that's about the same. Much more cherry on that one. And on the third, my third glass, the one on my far left, the one on my left seems to be the most proofy and has the most ethanol. This one seems to be a little bit more proof than the rest of them. And I get a little dust in the glass. I'm going to go back to the middle. Absolutely. Most cherry, a little bit dusty. This one, everything seems to be a little bit more subdued compared to that one. And the one on the right kind of falls in between these two. It's not as robust as, you know, the cherry, the brown sugar. Everything just seems to be elevated in this one. The brown sugar, the cherry, and the vanilla. The vanilla, the brown sugar, and the cherry. This just seems way more powerful in ethanol as well. Has much more on the nose, a little bit dusty. And yeah, in the middle, it's this one on the right seems to fall right in the middle of that one. So on the nose, I end up liking this one the most, then the glass on the right, and then the one in the middle. Let's run through the palette and see what we got. So everything on the palette or everything on the nose is coming through on the palette. Not as strong as I expected it to be. The cherry is there, but not a whole lot. And as I'm going through these, you guys will know what I'm drinking because of post-processing. So in the middle now. Hmm. That one still has the cherry. Seems to be more on the spicy end of things. I'm not getting as much brown sugar or vanilla in this one as I did in this. And the spice is taking over the cherry note on that one. That's interesting. Okay, let's go to the one that I prefer the nose on more than those. Oh yeah, that one just smells so much nicer. A lot less spice on this one. So the cherry on this one's not coming through as much as this one. I do get some barrel, some char on this one. Wow, this is uh, <laughs> this is going to be very difficult. I think I might be uh, questioning my choice of initial video right now. They're all very good. And they're all tasting very much the same with very tiny, small amounts of difference. Some's more cherry on the nose with dusty. Others still do get that cherry on the nose, but not as strong. This one's more spicy on the palate. This one's heavier cherry on the palate. This one's not as much on the palate. I think I'm going to need to take some time on this. I'm going to go ahead and write down some notes, spend a little bit more time with each one, and then I'll be back in a second. Let me uh, get my notes ready to go, and I'll be back with my, uh, with my ranking. All right, I think I have it. <clears throat> I think this is pretty clear for me. By far, absolutely, the glass on my left in this position, this is definitely number one for me. It had the most flavor on the palate, the most uh, on the nose. I have a lot of cherry, a lot of brown sugar. There's barrel spice in this. We also have barrel char. This one, by far, 100% beat these two. So that one is definitely my favorite. These ended up being a toss-up for me. This one had a lot better nosing. There's more cherry, more brown sugar, more vanilla. And then as I started going back and forth, this one just stood out to me a little bit more than this. So I would end up putting the middle one in last place. The one on my right would be in second. And then this, hands down, for me, for tonight, seemed to be the best one. A122, I felt like was my favorite drinking in the past. And then I thought the C922 
was my second. And then the B5-22 was my least favorite. That's what I think these are based on what I thought before. So let's go ahead and do the reveal, which you guys already know, but I don't. So in first place, in second place, in third place. So in third place, I have, oh man, now going back to this, it smells really good. So in third place, I have, I have A. So in class A was A122. Okay. And then glass, glass to my right, this was in second place. Yeah, but yeah, that this one is definitely not smelling to smelling as good to me as this. Let me give, let me give this one a taste again. Yeah, I'm sticking by it. This is my second place. My second place is glass glass B. So B522, which means C922. First place got C, C922. Interesting. So there you guys have it. This was my first, first Friday flight fight. Blinded. Elijah Craig, Barrel Proofs. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this information, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming. Share this with somebody in the whiskey world that might get enjoyment out of it. Turn that bell notification on. And with all that being said, I think I'm going to kick back, relax, enjoy the rest of these. You guys have a great journey. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.